So this is what we're going to need to connect our ultrasonic sensor. The model is HCSR04, as you can see here. On the back side, it shows you that it has a, a ground pin, a VCC pin to power, the trigger and the echo pin. We're also going to need a breadboard. This is a typical breadboard. I assume in whichever country you live in, you can order them online or just buy them in the closest electronic shop. We need two female-female jumper wires and four male-female jumper wires. And then of course our Raspberry Pi. We are using Raspberry Pi 4, but all of the connections that we are making can work with Raspberry Pi 3 just as easy. So now let's connect everything. Aside from connection, I'm going to give you a detailed circuit diagram. So you should not run into any problems connecting your sensor to your Raspberry Pi and making it work. So as you can see here and also on our circuit diagram that I will include in the resources, this is how the connection looks like. So our HC SR04 is connected with some pins through our breadboard and with some pins directly to our Raspberry Pi. You can follow everything. So I have the echo which is the yellow one, goes into the breadboard, then through a connection with 1K resistor, it goes into our Raspberry Pi. The physical pin is 36, the GPO pin is 16. Our trigger is connected directly with the blue jumper wire to our Raspberry Pi and it's physical pin 12 and, the, and GPO is 18. Now for the rest, you need to make sure that your Raspberry Pi provides five volt, the physical pin two, and the ground physical pin five into your breadboard. And then you just connect the ground and the VCC pins on your ultrasonic sensor to your breadboard of course the VCC the power one into the power line and the ground into the ground line so the connection is fairly simple the only thing that you have to make sure is that your echo is grounded with the 2k resistor and then the connection between the breadboard and the sensor is made through a 1k resistor of course this is all shown on the detailed circuit diagram and as i said it will be the downloadable resources so you can just download it and then work off it now that the connections are done we're going to mount everything on our robot and then show you the script that you need to measure distance and then of course the extended script to show you how make your robot avoid obstacles Now that we have connected our distance sensor, ultrasonic sensor to the Raspberry Pi, let's write a script. Uh, I will name my script distance.py and I will start with the imports from general purpose input output zero. I will import uh, distance sensor. Next, let's create a variable. I will call it sensor. And this is going to be a distance sensor. And here we will have to provide uh, three parameters. First of, uh, first of all, the echo. Echo is going to be uh, the port number 16 in our case. 
The second one is the trigger. Uh, this one is attached to port 18 in our case. And the third one is going to be uh, max uh, distance. And the maximum distance that I would like to measure is going to be just half of meter, 50 centimeter. Next, let's create an infinite loop. So while true. And here I will create yet another variable. I will call it just uh, dist equals sensor dot distance multiplied by 100. And this will uh, basically calculate uh, the distance in meters. Now let's just print it. Print this and uh, let's see, let's see it in action. Just click on run. And right here I made a small typo. It should be not the cap capital letter D, but the small letter. Distance with the small letter. And now we are getting our results. Uh, all right, now one more thing that you can do is uh, around these numbers if you don't want to, uh, maybe if you'd like to round it just for, let's say, two digits uh, after the dot, after the comma, you can uh, make use of the round function. So round, and then you encapsulate your variable, and you um, will have to say how many digits you want to see. So let's let's do two. Let's run it again to see the difference. And now we see the difference. Two digits after the comma. All right, that's it. So this is the basic scripts for the distance uh, for the ultrasonic sensor.